Today we're going to talk about the most advanced motherboard when it comes to motherboard and liquid cooling systems. So we have EK Waterblocks and MSI Gaming doing another extremely good collaboration and it's going to be based on the new platform from Intel. This is MSI MPG Z690 Carbon EKX and it's designed for the new processors from Intel. So why did I state that this is the most advanced motherboard when it comes to uh, taking into consideration Z490 and Z590. Well, first of all, you can see that the monoblock is quite huge and it's not that, of course, logical, right? The first thing that I noticed is, um, apart from the other stuff, is this part right here at the bottom. And I was unboxing the motherboard and was checking it out and I said, oh, look, they forgot to place the uh, top uh, passive heatsink for the M.2 slot and then I realized well this is why this part is sticking out so you have liquid cooling on your top and primary M.2 SSD which is quite outstanding because it covers the VRMs, covers the processor and covers the top slot for the M.2 SSD. Outstanding, right? Now, another thing that they developed, uh, uh, EK Waterblocks is doing some quite interesting stuff uh, lately from past Computex. It was announced the Matrix 7, which gives you a possibility to liquid cool quite easily, I would say. So this is why we have on this monoblock two holes for your fittings, which are in a different orientation usually you get them horizontally now you get them vertically and this is what happens with matrix 7 because it helps you build your water cooled pc quite easily so all in all all you need to do is use an angled fitting depending on the distance of your distro plate and just put straight pipes straight tubes uh, or do an angled 90 degree which you can also buy at their web shop and it's quite easy to assemble the whole build the only thing that you need to do right here is calculate the distance well the length of the pipe and cut it at the exact distance and that's all there is to it so uh, they managed to do something that nobody has done so far which is outstanding giving you guys quite easy liquid cooling system and this motherboard helps you with that. Now, uh, if you take into consideration this motherboard and this monoblock and you decide to, I don't know, switch the motherboard, you can easily just swap the motherboard and just place it back in if you go with the EK Quantum Velocity 2. But that's a story for something different. Now, with this motherboard, uh, we have quite interesting stuff, of course. Nice uh, power design, without a doubt. We have uh, support for DDR5. Uh, and loads of other stuff. Now let's check out some main specifications for this motherboard. We have direct 18 plus 1 plus 1 power design with use of 75 amper smart power stage, uh, lightning gen 5 which brings us to uh, 128 gigabytes per second bandwidth which is also compatible with 4.0 devices, supports DDR5 with definitely higher data transfer speed and possibilities up to 6666 uh, XMP enabled. You have Lightning USB 20G, which is uh, the latest USB 3.2 generation 2x2, which is up to 20 gigabits per second. You have Wi-Fi 6E plus uh, Bluetooth 5.2. As already stated, mods and cooling, as they stated right here, CPU plus VRM plus M.2 cooling, which this model block can offer you, and it's quite outstanding. You have active contact cooling, which means that liquid cooling for the primary M.2 drive to the to unlock your SSD's full potential, so definitely no thermal throttling. As any MSI product, uh, we have a support for MSI Mystic Lights. You have a flow indicator on the monoblock, which you can check out uh, the uh, flow of your liquid. Of course, for the other M.2 slots, you have the M.2 Shield Frozer, and of course, you can download uh, Frozer Eye Cooling, which detects CPU and GPU temperatures and automatically adjusts system fan duty to proper value. Before we continue to other specifications and other details, uh, let me just uh, state that as for every Carbon EKX motherboard that I had so far, I did some uh, custom build or uh, some sort of a liquid cool build and guess what, for this one I'll do something as well and I'm really looking forward because definitely going to use the M.2 just for the cooling and check out the temperatures, quite interested to check that out. Now. 
we have the IO part as well, which we need to check out all the ports we have. So you have the flash BIOS button, you have four USB 2.0, HDMI and display port, USB 3.2 generation 2, 10 gigabits per second type A, four of them, you have 2.5G LAN, USB 3.2 generation 2 type A and USB 3.2 generation 2 times 2 type C. You have Wi-Fi and uh, Bluetooth antennas and of course you have CS out, line in, line out, RS out, microphone and optical SPDIF. But we're talking about some specifications, the motherboard and checking out the details from the close-ups. It supports 12th generation Intel Core processors, uh, LGA 1700. You have two PCI Express 5.0 times 16 and one PCI Express 3.0 times 16. Supports AMD Crossfire technology. Supports also 4K at 60 Hz as specified in HDMI 2.1 and DisplayPort 1.4. For those ports, it uh, requires processor graphics. We have four times M.2 Gen 4 times 4, 64 gigabits per second slots. 1M.2 Gen 3 times 4 and it supports Intel Optane technology. We have 6 SATA 6 gigabits per second. Then when we're talking about uh, LAN, we have Intel i225V 2.5 gigabits per second LAN, Intel Wi-Fi 6E module and Bluetooth 5.2, 8 channel 7.1 HD audio with audio boost 5. Now let's discuss something when it comes to EK Matrix uh, 7, which uh, this motherboard definitely uh, holds and uh, goes into that uh, new, uh, let's say, era of uh, liquid cooling. So the MSI MPG Z690 Carbon EKX is basically an EK Matrix 7 compatible po product. It's a product uh, raster that is bound to set new standards in liquid cooling, which I definitely agree makes for everyone life easier when it comes to liquid cooling even though i do love to make some bands uh, around my custom builds and liquid cooling builds but nevertheless for you guys that are starting out this is a great way to start now ek is adding a new dimension on pc liquid cooling where the height of the products and the distance between the ports are managed by the increments of seven millimeters this improves product alignment and reduces the time spent for planning the loop and bending the tubes, etc, etc. For instance, I always suggest for a new person when he or she decides to start building uh, his or hers first liquid cooling system to buy extra pipes just in case if a certain mistake is done and uh, you need to order new tubes. So basically this way you don't have a possibility to make uh, that much mistakes this way everything is quite simple you measure the length of the tube from the fitting that goes angled fitting for instance because why not and directly to the distro plate and that's it new radiators are also into ek matrix 7 as well as the gpu water blocks and all the fittings are nicely designed just for you guys to make your life easier now what you get inside the box and i think you already noticed of course the motherboard you get the monoblock that covers your vrms it covers the cpu and it covers the m.2 ssd then, of course, as on any uh, Carbon EKX motherboard, you get the EK leak tester, uh, you get user manuals, SATA cables, Wi-Fi antennas and other accessories. When it comes to backplate uh, screwdrivers, small actually, screwdrivers, uh, additional uh, screws for your M.2 SSD and of course thermal pads for the VRMs and chips on top that need cooling from the monoblock. So guys, uh, basically this was just a small introduction to the MSI MPG Z690 Carbon EKX, so you could uh, know what is coming up quite uh, shortly. I will be doing definitely a build. It won't be based on Matrix 7 since I won't be using a distro plate. It will definitely have some uh, cool bends without a doubt. If you watched my previous builds, then you know what to expect. So guys, uh, thank you for watching today's video. Don't forget to check out uh, EK's website uh, for the MSI MPG Z690 Carbon EKX. And I'm going to pair it up, of course, with the Intel Core i9-12900K, which is just an outstanding processor in the top of the line when we're talking about performance and everything else. Uh, quite curious what the temperatures will be with the monoblock and with the liquid cooling system because you've seen the reviews that I did on 12900K and how it scored. Uh, you can check that out right here. 
if you wish to do so and if you wish to check out the future videos of course and the build that i'm going to do with uh, this motherboard uh, don't forget to subscribe click the like button to support the channel of course and notification bell so you don't miss that future video so thank you for watching today's video see you next time bye bye